I did become a cop in the state of Maine. I was a member of the York County Sheriff's Department for a few years. And uh, I was, first of all, I was a nice cop. I mean, I didn't like to write tickets. I wanted everybody to like cops, you know? So I, was, I gave warnings all the time. You wanted me to pull you over. I'm telling you that right now. I used to be like, you ever be in your car and you pass a police car and it's running radar and you flash your headlights, warning all the other cars that there's a cop back there running radar? You ever do that? I used to do that in my police car. <laughs> Slow down, everybody. True, the only reason I even became a cop was because I grew up around all cops. I was always over the house arresting my dad. <laughs> True, yeah. My dad would eh, drink a little. And uh, he'd start drinking, then he'd get mad at our neighbor for living next to us. <laughs> you know, something big like that. So he'd go out there and just start throwing rocks at their house or something. But he'd wear nothing but his tidy whiteies. <laughs> He's no longer tight or white. Or baggy brownies. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't pretty. I'd be like, Dad, why don't you put some pants on? This is my good pet. <laughs> wise ass. My dad's a wise ass kick all the time. <laughs> wise ass. What are you looking at, wise ass? Because <laughs> he used to take karate like 30 years ago, but now he can only lift his leg like three inches off the ground. <laughs> wise ass. Watching you, wise ass. It didn't, it didn't even make any sense. Like, Dad, I'm gonna go to the store. You need anything? Wise ass. No, oh, seriously, like some medication or something? And I came on in the 90s, the early 90s, when I worked for the York County Sheriff, and it was like the, one of the poorest police departments in the state. Like, I was, it would be embarrassing because we didn't even have like crime scene tape. I had an old guy died on the porch. I had to rope off the scene. I had no crime scene. I had to ask the family for something. Like rope or something. The only thing they had was like a roll of crepe paper, you know, like the screamers. It said congratulations. Oh good, there's a dead guy. Looks like I'm throwing him a party. But I wanted to solve crime because, you know, I wanted to be, I, if you were a victim, I wanted to try to find out who it was. But it's hard when you didn't have the resources. Like even like, like, cause I had to do everything. We didn't have a detective, I'd do it all. I showed up, I took pictures, fingerprints, everything. But they didn't give us a camera. <laughs> I'd use my own personal camera. Well, the first 10 pictures on the roll is like my brother's graduation. <laughs> now I got brother's graduation dead guy on porch on the same roll of film. And we didn't have a crime lab to develop them. I'd think I'm the right aid. You know that poor guy was going through the pictures like, this party turned ugly, huh? Woo! It was hard for us to solve crime back then. I felt bad, you know, we didn't have the tools. People would come up to me, so, uh, what are the odds you catching this guy? Say if he turned himself in 50-50. <laughs> it's not looking good right now. <laughs> I felt bad if you're a witness to a crime where we were, had to come down to Alfred. Now it's since moved, but it used to be in the old jail. We had one room was everything, photocopier, everything. One room. I felt bad if you had to come to our station and do like a police lineup, try to pick somebody out of a police lineup because we didn't have one of those two-way mirrors. It was just a regular window. But we didn't tell the witness. They didn't need to know that. I'm like, are you sure they can't see me? Then why's she giving me the finger? <laughs> He's just guessing. <laughs> Probably heard the footsteps. Like, well, that's the guy, the one give me the finger. My guy will take care of this. So one, two, and three, you're free to go. Uh, Dad, stay where you are. 
to put some pants on, please. That would be nice. It was just embarrassing because I would have to, I used to have to deal with my dad. One time I had to, and he'd always bust my balls when I showed up. Like one time I had to respond to a 1065, which means Justin's father's been drinking again. I show up, he tries giving me a false name. Pretty sure I know your name. I'm pretty sure it's not Count Chocula. You wise ass. You wise ass. I got watching you.